Vaughn 2.5 is considered to be the direct competitor of Google VO3 and in few cases it even outperforms Google VO3 and not only it can generate the videos with the audio but you can also upload your own audio files. Boys are gonna fall for this. So in this video we're gonna compare Vaughn 2.5 with Google VO3 and I'm gonna show you how to access this. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So when it comes to access the Vaughn 2.5, there's no better place than their own official website which is Vaughn.video. Yes, lot of people have mentioned to access this from the Hicksfield AI and they are claiming that you can use it for unlimited generations but you have to purchase a premium plan to get the unlimited video generations. That doesn't make any sense. So in that case, we're gonna stick with their own official website because you can generate unlimited generations without any credits. Now starting off with this prompt, a gorilla like monster charges forward at full speed. This is a lengthy prompt and from the model section make sure to select the Vaughn 2.5 and it can generate 1080p resolution videos and it also supports 10 seconds long duration and hit generate. And we're gonna give same prompt inside of the Google VO3 in the text to video model and we are selecting the VO3 quality model not the fast one and hit generate. And here is the output from Vaughn 2.5. So in this case it performed really well, the gorilla is charging at the full speed, he's smashing the trees and trunks and I like the way when he's walking the dust and dust particles are moving accordingly. And overall this is a very high action scene and this is the output from Google VO3. Well, we asked for a very high action scene, but this is not looking as fast as we wanted. And it also looks like the trees are automatically falling without even touching it. So this is not what we have expected. So if we compare both of these side by side, and you can clearly see the difference that the one two point video is high action than the VO3 and it looks more realistic than the slow motion in the Google VO3 video. Well, in my opinion, Vaughn 2.5 performed better, but let me know in the comment section what you think. Next up, a female reporter running on a chaotic road, cars are colliding, crowd running, buildings explosion and reporters saying in a afraid and shaking voice, oh my god, I'm leaving news reporting. And let's see what that gives us. Oh my god, oh my god, I am, I am leaving news reporting. This is too much. I can't do this anymore. All right. So the one thing that you will notice that AI automatically improvised the sentence, even though we haven't mentioned that this is too much. I can't do this anymore. But the AI automatically improvised the sentence. And it only happened because of this setting, this inspirational mode. So if you want the exact same sentence, make sure to turn this off. Because if you enable this, it tries to enhance the prompt. And here are the results from the VO3. Oh my God. Oh my God, I am. I am leaving news reporting. And it nailed it. And if we compare both of these videos side by side, you can clearly see that Google VO3 video is more realistic. We have some kind of stylization in the Vaughn 2.5, but in case of the VO3, it looks more realistic and it also followed the prompt very accurately. It did not edit any additional sentence, but in case of Vaughn 2.5, it only happened because of the inspirational mode. So in this case, Google VO3 performed much better than the Vaughn 2.5. Next up, a beautiful woman wearing a purple bold dress recording a selfie video on her bed and says, boys are gonna fall for this. And here is the Vaughn 2.5. Boys are gonna fall for this. And this was perfect. She's wearing the purple bold top and the AI also understand the context of the video even though we haven't mentioned any voice texture but it understand the context of the video and this woman says it in a very beautiful way. Now here is VO3. Um, boys are gonna fall for this. Well, this was also very good. She's wearing the purple top. She's lying on her bed. She's saying the exact same sentence. And if we compare both of them side by side, you can see there's a clear difference in the skin tone. And I personally like the skin tones in the Vaughn 2.5. In VO3, the skin tones looks more like a plasticky. It looks fake, but in Vaughn 2.5, it's more kind of a natural. So both of them performed really well. Let me know in the comment section. Which one do you like the most? Next up, a man in a red shirt and woman in a blue shirt are standing at a bus stop on a rainy day. The man looks at the woman and says, excuse me, do you have the time? The woman checks her watch and says, yes, it's half past three. So we have a bunch of different details in it. Let's see how it handles this. So here's one 2.5. Excuse me, do you have the time? Yes, it's half past three. 
and everything looks perfect. The man is wearing red shirt, the woman is wearing blue shirt. He asks the time, she looks at her watch, but somehow their dress and hairs are dry. Maybe they are standing under a shade, who knows? But this is the output from the VO3. Uh, excuse me, do you have the time? Huh? Yes, it's half past three. And if we compare both of them side by side, both of them followed the prompt very accurately, each and everything was on spot, but in terms of video stylization, I prefer Google VO3 over the Vaughn 2.5. Even though both of videos are in the 720p, but VO3 video has more details and the sharpness in the video. But on the other hand, the Vaughn 2. video looks very smooth. Next we have a cinematic scene of a warrior fighting against a dragon and here is the output. And this was a very high action shot and the kind of sound it added on the background, I really love that. Well, most of the things are very good here, but not everything is perfect here. The guy suddenly falls off from a dragon, then started fighting with another dragon and suddenly a second guy came in and suddenly disappears. So there are a few things that are weird in this one, but visually this is very appealing shot. And here is the VO3 output. And she's not even fighting, she's not even trying to fight. It looks more like she's controlling the dragon, but obviously not a fighting scene. And here's a comparison between both of them, and there's no doubt that Vaughn 2.5 have done a really good job. I love the fact that how VO3 adds the cinematography and the colors to the video, it's better than the Vaughn 2.5 in some cases, but in terms of action, in terms of the uh, you know overall video, this is not even close to the Vaughn 2.5. And when it comes to image to video, this is the image that I'm gonna try, and here is the lengthy prompt with a lot of dialogues and this is kind of an emotional scene and let's see how does it perform with this one we could have been happy jake don't you see that no we could have had a dramatic mess and i'm too old for that kind of fun now okay the way they said the dialogues was very natural it wasn't looking like they are just trying to throw out the dialogues but there was an emotion in both of these characters and here is the vo3 video we could have been happy, Jake. Don't you see that? No, we could have had a dramatic mess. And I'm too old for that kind of fun now. Well, when it comes to VO3, the dialogue looks very straight. There wasn't much emotion in the video. But I like the emotion of a moving taxi. But in terms of emotions, Vaughn 2.5 performed really well. Next, we have this image and the prompt will be A man flies forward in a high speed, hands remain consistent. Camera moves backward, high speed, high action, speed motion, motion blur. And hit generate. Alright, the results are convincing and it looks like a superhero movie scene. Yes, in the initial frame the video is kind of a slow bit, but when it moves forward, it gets very intense and it looks very high action scene. And if we compare this with the VO3, in case of the VO3, the video is very slow, wouldn't have much motion, even though it changed the actual colors, but when it comes to 1, 2.5, you can see the difference. And here is my favorite shot. And this was totally insane. I mentioned in the prompt that the dragon chases it like crazy, high speed, high motion shot. And this is very high action shot. And one thing that I have to admire that the sound effect in this video was on point. Yes, the thing starts to get weird on the end, but the first six seconds was amazing. Here's the output from VO3. And this is no way close to it. This is not a high action, high speed motion. This is just a simple. And if we compare both of them side by side, this is crazy, man. How Vaughn 2.5 pulled it out, this is crazy. And just listen to the sound effects again. Oh my God, this is crazy. So this was a quick comparison between Google VO3 and Vaughn 2.5 and in my opinion this is neck to neck with VO3 and in few cases it even performed better than VO3. So you can access it on their official website. Yes there is a delay in the videos if you are on a free plan but at the same time you can generate unlimited videos but there is a slight queue in the videos. So I hope you like this comparison and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.